go, we've come down to kind of launch the new new kit, the um, flagship camping unit. Um, so it's great to see, it's, it's nice and spread, it's vibrant and in, the, in the English colours and it's got a kind of rose going across as well. Um, so it is pretty brilliant and I'm sure some of the English guys will try to rip the collars. I think that is one of the tests that they have to do. The, the blue socks are back which is a, a crowd favourite and um, one that everyone really enjoys. Um, so no, it's great to see them back as well. Absolutely amazing. I mean, the kit is fab. Getting a balance between traditional England, as I mentioned, and, and obviously giving it a bit of a bit of life. I'm sure the designers had a right headache about what to do, and I absolutely love it. Can't wait to play in it. Yeah, Fifteen sevens do have a different vibe, and the shirts I previously have shown that. Um, it's a little bit faster, a little bit exciting, and with these kind of futuristic theme shirts, it's it's looking forward to what we can do. And again, it's a massive four-year cycle for us with the World Cup and potential of moving forward into to an Olympic cycle. So. Yeah, I think they do uh, represent what, what we're about with Sevens. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's as renegade as the stick we got for Tequila Sunrise, but it's <laughs> definitely very eye-catching. I know when people will be seeing the rose run onto the pitch, it's not just synonymous with the England team, but with the actual colours and representation that involves. I, I like the fact it's surrounded by the rose, you know, that's what you look for when you're a younger boy playing uh, your mini rugby, wanting to come up and really represent England and, and the rose and what that means. <laughs> It's great to come and, and kind of give someone back and give them some knowledge and that, all that and to come to and do the launch at somewhere down a mini rugby club and a rugby club like this down in Gloucester and, and give someone back to that rugby community is brilliant that everyone can get part and it's about the rugby connected and, and it's on the inside of the arm here it's uh, about how everyone, everything is connected and about coming back and, and coaching as much as possible so if we can help and help inspire people all the better. It's one of the best things I think I've seen. I mean, I play. I started when I was younger, so I started when I was six and seven at a local rugby club in South Shields, and it just kind of brings you back to that to know that actually people who are to aspire to play for England, you can start at a young age, start at your local club, and one day with a bit of hard work, you could be wearing the shirt. And I think it's so important that people have the aspirations that they know it is achievable with hard work, and it's just a really, really a brilliant idea, and it, and it connects you back to that. It connects me back to my youth and, and to the people that have looked after me and supported me during my time as as England captain. And for England. I think rugby has a really special community. Um, it's it's not about an England team. It's about players who play from all level, different ages, different shapes and sizes, different genders, and it's it's a really special community to be involved with. I think it's great. I mean, this club perfectly represents what I kind of grew up with. You know, it's that Sunday morning mentality of all your friends and family being around you, and and really kind of strikes a, a massive positivity with the community here you can only see looking around and already spoke to some of the older members of the club that they live and breathe this club and it's, it's great to see it.